Hello everyone and good evening as we welcome you to the kickoff for the NASCAR 15, or I'm oh, sorry, NASCAR 14 Let's Play. I almost said NASCAR 15 because the game loop so goddamn similar. NASCAR 14 was obviously released in 2014 for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 systems. And as many of us all know, it was a bug ridden piece of crap. So we're going to do full season. We are going to play as Jimmy Johnson. And I believe we might be going to the Daytona shootout here. So we're going to be racing his Daytona yellow car. And um, here we go. We are going to be going to the Daytona shootout, skipping both the practices and just jumping straight into the race. And remember the old flippy flag? Well, it's back. So we're going to do for this, we're going to go 5 minutes, but we're not going to practice. Tire War times 2, just like NASCAR 11. Flag rules will be caution flags only. Full damage and failures. The shootout is the first event of the Here's Jeff Hammond. It is open to anyone who has earned a pole position last season, or anyone who has previously won the shootout. The Budweiser shootout is an all-star cast of drivers who have won the pole from the 2013 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series season, or have won this event, and have joined a truly elite group of drivers. For now, let's go or take a little bit of a practice lap. Even though my Xbox is now hooked up to the internet, unfortunately this is not the NASCAR 14 with group qualifying, so you guys have to put up with uh, single car qualifying, unfortunately. So for this race only, we are going to be running a couple laps around as a practice warm-up for, for the Budweiser shootout tonight. This is basically NASCAR 14 with Gen 6 car with uh, Gen NASCAR inside line with Gen 6 cars and even more physics. So this is actually really, really similar to NASCAR 15, because you know why? It's the same damn game, just with different cars. One lap is put on the board, but my personal best is time of 48.44. Our car seems to be really coherent with the bottom. See Joey Logano, David Rudman, and Kevin Harvick from the bottom on the outside. For this game, instead of having guys from 2014 that actually race, like Chase Elliott, Regan Smith, and Trevor Bain, they were in the Nationwide Series at the time. And it's cool that they added the Nationwide drivers, but they put them in cup cars. I could kind of see Trevor Bain's Advocare car, because... He would drive the six car in the Cup Series in 2015, but really, it looks ugly on a Cup on an old Ford Ford body, you know. But Regan Smith's is just god awful, and Chase Elliott is basically a bar bag of that is Junior Motorsports written on it, and it's pathetic. But instead of having drivers like I don't know, maybe. Michael Waltrip in the 66, because he was driving the 66 with the 500 around his time in the state of Belize. They picked Holly Haraka. Holly fucking Haraka. Yeah, let that sink in. Just let that sink in for a little bit. 
Holly Baraka is in this game. And the only thing he's famous for is crashing on pit road before a pace lap. Now, as you kind of can notice through this demonstration, the steering is really, really sensitive compared to the tightness of 11. Because you can kind of tell I'm frequently jerking on the left stick just to keep the car just straight. Better make sure you're happy with your setup. So, uh, after we've ran three laps, go to our infield garage. And let's end the session. Get practice two. Shoot out. I should know because I watched that. The shootout consists of a short 25 lap sprint followed by a 50 lap sprint. Either a good position in the first sprint is critical for success. Yes, it is, Jeff Hammond. Welcome to the Budweiser Shootout where legends race in a non-points event, no holds barred, under the lights, to kick off Daytona's Illustrated Speed Weeks. Let's send it to Fox Sports legends Mike Joy, Daryl Waltrip, and Larry McReynolds. Guys? It's a brand new season, and Fox Sports coverage begins here at Daytona International Speedway with a race of last year's bull winner. The Daytona shootout. I'm like Joy with Daryl Walter. Mike, it's this funny. is interesting. Because they quit last week's but they quit guys like Ryan Reed and Mike Barnett in this damn race. At any point, it's money, a token, and then say that you won this race. Any strategy? Yes, sir. Flat out. And go into the green. So let's find out who's the fastest of last year. Update, this game has 2013 cars for some reason. I don't know why. Pace car is off. Now the field is in the hands of Kyle Busch in the 18 and Jimmy Johnson in the 48. Pace car is off. Get ready. Into the restart zone. And the green flag is in the air on the NASCAR 14. Let's play. For 15 laps in round number one. And now to turn two, there's a four-car breakaway in form of Kyle Busch and Joey Logano with Michael Annette and Dale Earnhardt Jr. hooking up and trying to get a run down the inside. Ryan Reed and Ricky Stenhouse have made it up the middle lane. Jimmy Johnson and Kurt Busch are up on the outside. Now Jimmy Johnson gets into the wall, loses more spots. Vickers, Austin Dillon, Ryan Newman, David Reagan are going to fly by him. Is going down into lap, complete lap number one, three by three racing through the contact. Marcotts, Reagan's into the wall. Harvick and Hamlin take the middle lane. Here comes Hesley's teammate, Jeff Gordon, down in the middle, through the middle, out of nowhere, with Polly Haraka on the bottom. Oh, wow, they're beating up. Whoa, and around goes Josh Wise. We have the big one. Larson, Almendinger, Danica. Ambrose and McMurray. This is going to be a long race. Kyle Busch and Michael Annette are on the front row for this restart. I am currently 16th by a miracle of God. Okay, here we go. And the steering sensitivity is 
and I'm not sure if you can fix steering sensitivity or what, but this sucks. Green flag back into the air. Danny Capazzo, who made history of winning the 2013 Daytona 500 pole award, contact with Edwards Stewart down on the bottom, 2002 pole shootout winner. I'm just going to make my way to the back, this seems like a really good idea. Contact there. Larson, Logano. We're up to the back. There is no caution flag yet. Notice how I said yet. Make our way down to the triangle. Austin Dillon has made his way to the point. So we're going to be uh, making our way around. On the back stretch, on board, Danny Hamlin is all two seconds off. I believe our right front is about to explode right now. And the rule is, just like any other NASCAR game, if I do happen to do DNF from a race, I would do another race in the video. Assuming I don't DNF five laps in. Like, remember back to season one, NASCAR 100,004 when I raced in North Carolina, and I blew up like 11 laps in after contact with Michael Waltrip? Yeah, that. Then by the 2014 Emily winning Denny Hamlin. Kevin Harvick up there in 24th. The pack is separating in individual pairs of one, it seems like. Yeah, can we do some work on this guy for taking the car because it's loose? You know this, I haven't updated this game because Keselowski is his blue car and it looks to me like the first round is over. And we are 24th. We are going to, um, so let's take a look at the top 10 with uh, squished numbers. Tony Stewart won round one of the Budweiser shootout tonight. Ryan Reed, wow, he finishes second. David Gillen finishes third. AJ Allmendinger finishes fourth. Kurt Busch, fifth. Jamie Max, sixth. Marcus Ambrose, seventh. Ryan Newman, eighth. Ricky Stenhouse, Jr., ninth. And David Reagan, tenth. We look on down for the rest of the field. Danica Patrick survived, surprisingly survived, and Polly Haraka, of all people, have um, survived this, the first round. Round one is completed. Let's take our pit, our pit stop. Fix our right front because it's got some pretty major damage. Down pit road. God, look at our look at how tatted our right side is. Yes. Be ready, guys. Let's hustle here. Let's go, boys. Good stop. Now, I'm typically not a fan of Jimmy Johnson, but I wanted to do him for NASCAR 14, so why the hell not? Really, you're gonna do four tires when I specifically suggested for two? So, um, we're 26. Nice pitch stop right there. 26. 
lap seven, and this is round two. Round two has begun. Tony Stewart leads the field down in, in a turn one. If only Hamlet would do some crap already. Hamlet and Logano have hooked up. So this means goodbye. We have fallen the last, but at least we're in touch with this group. Never mind, bye bye Kevin Harvick. Three wide, all the way through the field. Kurt Busch leads the Budweiser shootout. 2011 winner. Now to the inside, look at this. Three by three by, whoa, we are almost, Kislowski, everyone gets to get, oh my god. Holy crap. Everyone gets together. They are three by three in the first four rows. I'm about to make it four wide here. Under Brian Vickers, under Martin Truex, under Austin Dillon. This. Oh God, Junior's around. Up into the pack. Caution is out. Never mind. Everyone still scatters. Surprisingly. Surprise, motherfucker. To go. Through all that, the, just be aware my rewind will probably going to be very, very lenient compared to NASCAR 11, you know? Arnold Stenhouse for position. Danica Patrick is leading this thing. Yeah, you read that right. Danica Patrick could fucking win this thing. Never mind, Kurt Busch takes the lead. Danica Patrick takes the lead. Junior should have flipped in that wreck. I'm going to say that right now. Junior should have wrecked and flipped in that accident. Marston and Stenhouse, a tough game. Here comes Mike Lynette in the seven car for one season. Let's see if we can at least get a top 20. If you remember back to NASCAR uh, 15, we surprisingly finished second after thinking we won the race. And I and after going under the yellow line a couple times. The only reason I have penalties turned off in the black flags is, God forbid, you touch the yellow line. You could face if you barely flip the yellow line. I I shit you not. If you flip the yellow line barely, you're basically done. And you have to go up like 30 spots right there. And you're there. Ken's just up the racetrack. Ambrose, the Australian, only work his only wins have ever that he's ever gotten have come at Watkins Glen. Round two has been complete. And we are eighth, barely nosing out Austin Dillon. In two minutes. And again, we're trapped on the outside on the restart. So uh, Marcus Ambrose takes round two, followed by Kurt Busch in second. Danica Patrick third. Ryan Reed fourth. Tony Stewart fifth. David Gilliland sixth. Austin Dillon seventh. Jimmy Johnson eighth, a.k.a. me. Carl Edwards ninth. And Jamie Mack McMurray runs out your top 10. I honestly did not know how that was a wreck. We are going to be 8th on this on the final round. Here we go. 
we get the line, it'll be five laps of racing left today, or tonight, in the Budweiser shootout. Ambrose, to the, gonna bring him down to the restart zone. Green flags into the air! Uh, lane changing right now. Dylan way to the top, down into the seventh hole. Here comes Polly Haraka. We got a long line of cars right here. Vic, Vickers, Logano, Edwards, other guys. I think Ambrose too. Ambrose in the 99. Whoa, hold up. Oh god, contact. Down to 13th, and we are losing track zone. I mean, it's, looks like we got some positions. Caution's out again. And it looks to me like... Oh, Dale Jr. I guess the wreck finally happened for the Daytona Pied Piper. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is retired from tonight's race. Finally, about time we're on the inside lane. Seriously, it's about time we're on the inside lane. Here we go. Three laps of racing left. Green flag into the air. Air, when you get to the line. Three laps of racing to go. Dana Kilpatrick lines up. Edwards to the inside. How about this? Edwards to the point at Daytona. Three laps of racing to go. How about this? Look at this. Uh, wow, where did Johnson come from? I'm leading here at Daytona. Stenhouse is thanks to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and AJ Allmendinger. They may or may not make it around here. Come to the start finish line out of the trial. Hamlin down low. Big one. Two to go. Wow, we are gone. We have pulled away from the field successfully at Daytona. Could Jimmy Johnson finally claim his first Sprint Unlimited victory? He's got two more corners. Here we go, into the trial. White flag, last lap in the Sprint Unlimited. Yes, this is me pulling away at a restricted plate race. Yes, I'm about to make history by having my first Let's Play open up with a victory in NASCAR's Story Speed Weeks. Down the back stretch. Seems to be that this pack here is just damn on the brakes right now. Look at them screaming out of turn four, three wide. There, three by three. Who to block? Down to the bottom. Jimmy Johnson wins the Sprint Unlimited to kick off NASCAR 14. In a wild game, if I guess you could call it chicken. So, uh, I win tonight's Sprint Unlimited. Ricky Stenhouse finishes second. AJ Allmendinger third. Kevin Harvick fourth. Jamie McMurray fifth. Denny Hamlin sixth. Tony Stewart seventh. Brian Vickers eighth. Brad Keselowski ninth. And Jeff Gordon tenth. <laughs>
These two have had a lot of history in 2014. How about that? Close group pull starts, don't care. Second favorite truck driver. So, um, the next race is going to be at the Gary Duel Daytona still for Speed Weeks for, um, Gatorade Duel Race number for the Gatorade Duels. We'll see you then.